and glasses off <laughs> if you're driving during the event. Or when you are anchoring a newscast. It is amazing how you can't, can't see, see anything. anything. There's one light <laughs> when, that I can see through these glasses. That's wow. how bright that our lights right are. Yeah, super bright. <laughs> but yeah, it kind of huh. makes you scratch your head like why the fact that they had to put a warning <laughs> like that out but hey better safe than sorry because right. yes. um, uh, you definitely do want to have these for eclipse day you do especially here in corpus mm -hmm. christi but if you don't have glasses there are other ways that you can view the eclipse we've got some props so here carly got some props if you have a box of cereal empty of course <laughs> and then you can get some foil and some tape and some scissors and you can create what's known as a pinhole viewer you use the foil to poke a pin mm -hmm. hole in it. <laughs> and then you cut yourself a little hole for your eyeball and you face away from mm -hmm. the sun and hold this up and the sunlight will go through yeah. and you're able to watch the eclipse safely this way. My first memory of an eclipse at the school I went to, all we did, I have too many holes punched in this card, but it doesn't matter how many holes you punch. All we did was punch holes in mm -hmm. an index card. We did the same thing. We faced away from the sun, so we, our eyeballs were not looking at the sun at all. And um, during the eclipse, it will be pretty much right mm -hmm. overhead. So you just kind of hold this down toward the ground and it will create uh, the eclipse view as a shadow. So you watch, really it, watch cool. it on the ground. On, on the, the ground. ground. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. And then another way I saw this, someone posted this during our annual era. Okay. They used a strainer from their house and uh, the little holes in the strainer produced oh, the nice. eclipse. If also. you don't want to punch your own holes, you could just get some. <laughs> now, now you're from not Target. talking about putting that strainer on your face. No, <laughs> no, this will not protect you <laughs> yeah. from that's, anything. That's not what you want to do. <laughs> It'll just make you look silly. Yeah, um, yeah. But yeah. It's, fa it's giving fashion to me, but also but another cool if way. you, again, you let the sun's shadow show onto mm -hmm. the ground and you're able to view the eclipse. Very cool. So no specs, no problem. Carly has you covered here <laughs> with several different options. Yeah, so, fun. so I've got some pictures that show what it looks like in real time. Okay, nice. I took these as the sun was setting. So during the eclipse, it will be on the ground and not on a wall, uh, but there's a view of that. Of course, here we have all circles because there's no eclipse taking place. But if there is an eclipse, you would be able to see little crescent holes. And so I made this hole punch back in 2017 during the last eclipse uh, uh, through Texas. We didn't get a full solar eclipse, a total solar eclipse, but through the little hole punches, you can see the little tiny crescents uh, from the sunlight, which is pretty cool. And then additionally, just looking at the shadows through the trees. So if you have trees anywhere in your yard or somewhere where you're out and about, you can see the little crescent shapes through the trees. And so that's really what our eclipse is gonna look like. Looking at shadows is one of the coolest way to do it. This is the view of a sun that's not eclipsed through the pinhole viewer. That is a safe way to look at the sun by using that cereal box. And then additionally, this is from our annular solar eclipse. Before it was total, this is kind of going to be a similar to view to what we will see if you're using your glasses and looking at the eclipse here in Corpus Christi. We're not going to see the full circle like we saw during the annular solar eclipse, but it will look something similar to this, like a very thin little crescent shape. Again, that's using your glasses or it will create that crescent shadow uh, on the ground, which is really cool. So that's the view from April 8th. This was the view, of course, that we got back on October 14th, which is really cool if you got to see that. So a lot of fun ways to view the eclipse. Of course, Corpus Christi, we're going to get that crescent max eclipse at 1.33 p.m. That's going to be the time you want to view it. If you want to see the total solar eclipse, you will have to drive. And so we've got the cloud forecast for that eclipse, right? Here's the view, that path of totality where you see the total solar eclipse, where you can take off your glasses during totality. That is to our north. This is Corpus Christi. We are, the red indicates 
poor visibility expected. Now, there is some clearing skies off to the west. We could get some of that to inch into the path of totality in Texas, but overall, we are looking at a decent amount of cloud coverage, especially for areas along and south of Interstate 10 and then along I-35. So this is Sunday. A cold front tries to approach. It's not going to make it all the way through. We're going to push that front back to the north where we see the chance for some rain. Yeah, unfortunately, we see a chance of rain here in the coastal bend. That is likely low stratus clouds that may block our entire view and you won't be able to see anything. Further north, it may be more so serious clouds and then you could see at least a little bit of the eclipse that way. So then following the eclipse, we've got a storm system that's going to come through. We've got a cold front on the way. Six